Hello guys, it's the Caribbean Bookworm and today I'll be giving you a review for Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. Now Pet Cemetery is a famous story written by Stephen King and it's one of his classic books as well. The story revolves around the family Creed who moves to a new location, a very desolate and very isolated location um, in order to start their life together again. Everything starts just as one would expect for a regular family with this particular family. Um, they slowly start adapting to their new location, um, they st slowly start amplifying their social network and they feel welcome, they feel at home. But then suddenly they start realizing that there is more to the location of which they relocated themselves to than they thought before. And when something goes wrong with their family, then they start realizing the true dark secrets that lure behind the place. And especially behind a cemetery that is located around said area, and that is the Pet Cemetery. Before I continue with my typical review format of mentioning the pros and cons, I gotta say in advance that this is definitely one of my favorite Stephen King books, if not my all-time favorite. But of course there are a lot of Stephen King bi bibliography out there of which I haven't read already. Um, so I will be a bit too quick to judge if I say like, oh, this is def definitively my favorite book from Stephen King. But, it, but I am confident saying that this is one of my favorites written by Stephen King. And that's saying a lot, considering the fact that I've read, say, The Dark Tower, of which I really like, as well as It, of which I also really liked. It is a really classic, big, epic story by Stephen King. I still rather really liked Pet Cemetery, if not really actually loved the story, um, because it touches upon a very delicate theme. It touches upon the theme of loss and griefing, and how one should try to cope at least with sad feelings. It is not every day in which you find an author that tries to dabble within these topics and especially um, doing so within the horror, horror genre. So I find that actually mighty impressive considering that when this book was written, there wasn't a lot of material written along those lines. With that in mind, we're going to jump into the pros right away. The first pro about this book is definitely the author's audacity and guts to push on with this idea. I've heard and read somewhere that um, he wasn't sure that he wanted to publish this because he thought it was too scary or something, but his wife encouraged him to actually publish the book. Oh, I don't know if that was the story with Pet Cemetery or that was the case with Carrie. I'm not sure. I think it was with Carrie, but either way, this I'm really glad he went on with this, although I can see why he had his doubts. But I'm really glad he did it because this story, it's very unique. Although it's a, although it's a typical horror story, it, it's still quite fascinating how he built up towards that horror to a point of which you don't want it to go in that direction. Although you know for sure that it's going to go in that direction, you know. So um, everything leading up to what you already know about the story of Pet Cemetery. Um, it's something of which it feels more dreadful when you're reading the book and when you're investing so much time into the characters um, and getting to know them. Another pro of which I have with this book is the story narrative, especially after part one. Part one, I'd say definitely, is the slower portion of the book. Um, it takes some time to get into the rhythm and groove of the book and it's what frankly took me as so long to finish this book. But afterwards, when getting into part two and part three, it really amps up. Another pro I have with this book, and that is rather a more personal um, opinion regarding this book, regarding the story at least of the book, and it's no big spoiler either, is that it dabbles upon the topic of um, dealing with loss, um, dealing with beliefs, what one's thought is about the afterlife and such, and also doing all of that considering the fact that um, the father in this book, the protagonist, wants to talk about these topics with his um, his daughter and his wife and while also doing so from a rather more scientific background um, since the protagonist is a doctor a um, emergency yes an emergency physician and um, he every time he tries to struggle between 
telling his family something that's comforting to them or telling them something that he thinks as a critical scientific person or scientifically rigorous person. And throughout this book, because this book stems around rather supernatural ideas eventually, he finds himself being really quite challenged with his own personal beliefs. So I found that to be incredibly fascinating. And it's one of my favorite por it's one of my favorite aspects of the book. Um, it ties right into the topic of loss, but also into the topic of belief, skepticism, and being someone who's really critical, but having their whole wor world turned upside down to do um, circumstances in life. It is something of which I can personally relate really quite fondly to. And I think a lot of people who love this book can ha also has that to say about this book, that they could relate to the book in one way or another quite profoundly. And it's the reason why a lot of people love this book. We've talked about the pros, but there are some cons with this book. I'm not going to lie. Um, the book, I gave the book a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads, but that isn't to say that the book is perfect. I've seen Stephen King books, which I've considered to be more of a somewhat like a perfect novel um but maybe they haven't gotten the five out of five or they may have gotten the five out of five but a con i have with this book with the book is in particular the ending of the book it's not one of my most favorite stephen king endings out there i think he could have wrapped that whole story up a bit nicer more neatly i think i'd go with that the ending is a bit convoluted in my opinion and he could have done a bit less with what i think he wanted to go for um, which was more of an open interpretation type of ending, but um, I don't mind it either. Um, I this is the reason for, from what I've heard that the movies diverge quite heavily from um, the novel. I don't know at least about the old movie, but from the new movie of which I have seen, um, it di it diverts a little bit from the ending of which I've read in the book, understandably so. Another con I have with the book is something I've mentioned already, and that is that the book is a bit slower in the beginning. It takes some time to get invested into the story, but again, rest assured, once you get invested into the story, you're not going to get bored or tired from it. It's going to pick up really, quite rapidly. Um, there's a particular scene that happens in the book regarding um, the cat on the cover. Uh, and when that happens, um, you start you start feeling the Stephen King horror elements like creeping in, and that's when the book, in my opinion, really picks up from its more slower and um, um, more of a slow burn pace. Another thing I wanted to mention is neither a pro or a con of the book. It's something to keep in mind before you jump into this book, and that is that this book deals with again rather sensitive topics. It's a book, literally a book about loss, grief. And the plot of the book, although it is a fictional um, novel, it's a fictional horror book written by Stephen King, um, it's not easy to read, if I imagine, for everyone. This, um, this topic deals with, um, everyone copes as well with loss, grief, and such. So if you feel like personally you're a bit more taboo talking or even thinking about something as bizarre as say bringing the dead back to life then i would highly highly not recommend this book since this book the biggest compliment i can give to this book is that it feels like a story a movie or a book that feels wrong to read you know like you feel icky when you're reading certain parts of the book it's like should you be really doing that like ugh. it makes you feel like that a lot of times and i've gotten that for the first time, I've gotten that, to be honest, with a book, but I have gotten it before with a movie. Like, for example, I personally, for some reason, I can't deal with, like, exorcism in movies. Like, that always freaks me, not, freaks me out or rather makes me feel unnerving. Like, say, with, in the movies such as The Exorcist or in horror movies such as The Omen, which isn't even about exorcism. But those type of movies, like, make me feel icky when I'm watching them. And I got the same feeling throughout some portions of this book. Which, again, I don't mind it. I actually love that feeling. That means the book did its job to freak me out. Um, but I just have to give that as a um, heads up. If you're someone who doesn't like that type of thing, then you might not want to pick this one up. You might want to settle it down and just watch reviews like this and be the judge for yourself before reading it. All in all, I gave Pet Cemetery a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads for good reasons because I personally really, really like this book. Although the ending, again, wasn't my favorite, I quite enjoyed the story narrative 
a bit slow at the beginning but i really enjoyed the story narrative i enjoyed the themes throughout the book but if you're quite avid readers from this author such as myself then what did you think especially about pet, pet cemetery and if you read it um what was what were your general thoughts and analysis as to what was going on since with the mystery behind the pet cemetery is left a bit unclear as to whether dot 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 is what is causing all of this weirdness or it's just something completely else um i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below and also i'd love to hear your general opinion about the book the themes being discussed throughout the book as well in the comments below if you read the book hope you guys enjoyed this review and stay tuned for other book reviews coming up soon i can promise you that other books re book reviews will come up this year since right now i'm going to read the stat and i know that's going to take me a hell of a long time but again when i finish with that or if i read something else along the road then you'll definitely hear from me. hope you guys enjoyed the holidays despite this year being a bit somewhat different than the our usual circumstance that's still no excuse to not enjoy your holidays and eat something delicious and spend time with your family so i hope that is the case stay safe again guys and see you guys hopefully soon bye